بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing we'll try to get into something called troubleshooting wan connectivity so if you remember in the previous sections we have seen some of the prerequisite we need to know before we start the routing troubleshooting so this is something like the first thing we should know the troubleshooting the routing the prerequisite and one of the prerequisite is also troubleshooting the wan before we jump into the actual routing Uh, protocol which routing protocol we are using so the middle one is troubleshooting the wan connectivity so what exactly it is why why there is a need because let's say there is a user sitting here he is trying to access this specific server now what happens is if this user is not able to access and we confirm that there is no problem in the lan because the user sitting in the lan on both the sides we do have reachability to the gateways means most likely the problem is on the wan side so which means there is some routing issue of course routing issue might be there but for the routing protocol to work let's say on between these two routers we identify there is a problem and maybe i'm running some ehrp protocol or maybe an ospi protocol i'm running so before i jump into the routing uh, troubleshooting we also need to check the prerequisite that is the link connecting between the two routers the wan link is it okay or not so we have to check that so that's what we are trying to do in this video so probably in our next videos we will try to get into the individual routing protocols now the connectivity is like the prerequisite uh, before we start with the routing okay and for that we need to figure out what kind of technology we are using like if this is a wan connection then we need to know what is the service provider who is the service provider and what type of wan connection you are using because again when you are troubleshooting the wan connectivity the the verifications may vary a little bit depending upon what type of wan connection we are using like whether we are using a lease lines or whether you are using a frame lay link or if i am using some kind of mpls connection or ethernet connections so depending upon what type of uh, l2 technology we are using for providing the wan connectivity there are few things will vary so in our case we assume as if there is a kind of wan point to point connection a lease lan connection between the two sides we are going to assume that so how to confirm that simply we need to generate a ping request on to the opposite side and if i verify show ip interface brief we should see the interface status as up and up so that's a, that's a kind of basic things we will will start up with so what i should see is if the wan interface is up so we use show ip interface brief let's uh, jump into this topology i got a simple basic topology with the three routers here based on the basic routing labs which i used so i'll try to go to router 2 the middle router and we'll try to issue a command called show ip interface brief that's the first command to start with because when you give show ip interface brief what i should see is the interfaces whatever they are connected they should be in a state of up and up so the first status message indicates that the physical connectivity and then the protocol is also working fine so both the status should be up and up and that is what i am expecting for all the interfaces whatever the interfaces which are connecting connecting to my opposite side like here you can see this is s0 by 0 by 0 s0 by 0 by 1 and this is g0 by 0 we need to know the interfaces as well and that's what i'm um, expecting now if there is any problem then probably i should not see this status so there are different uh, types of status messages you might see like let's say the if it is up and up then everything is perfect so we don't need to worry about the connectivity and most likely i should be able to ping as well so if i generate a ping request to the opposite interface we should get a reply so this is another uh, confirmation we can verify with and in case if you are getting any other status messages like if i if i if i see something like down down means there is a problem so let's say um i'm going to router 1 and the interface here it shows down down let's say now most likely the problem is the problem can be anything let's say the status message here down down 
so we'll, we can confirm few things like maybe the remote device is powered off that might be the one possibility because if, if the remote device is not powered on then there is no keypillar messages will be exchanged so which means the device will not get any keypillar messages so it will declare that interface as down and that's how it will show you the down down status or maybe the device is up the second possibility is like the device is up and running because you you will see that the device is running but most likely the port may be in a shutdown state so that is the next possibility so in my case we can say that let's say the device is up so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say the device is up it's up and running but most likely the port will be in a shutdown state that's the next possibility and the third thing is maybe the interface is not configured sometimes you know what happens is you you reload the router or maybe you uh, not exactly reload so maybe you uh, you take a backup and restore some of the configurations or maybe you change the ip addresses or maybe sometimes you end up connecting to a wrong interface so these are some of the possibilities where the opposite interface might not be configured because maybe you have configured but maybe a wrong interface is configured or maybe a wrong port is connected so these are the uh, specific things you need to check with okay so that was the thing and most likely if if not the case then directly you can jump in and say that okay the problem may be with the connectivity so you need to contact the service porter and make sure that the interface is up as soon as possible because if there is any problem with a, a modem or whatever the modem you connect here or maybe with a service border then most likely the interface will not show up so these are all the possibilities but before we jump into the problem with the service border so what we'll try to do is we'll try to confirm that from our side there is no problem and that's what we are trying to do here we will try to check these three things uh, ensuring that from our side there is no issue and once we confirm this then we can simply uh, contact the service porter and make sure that the link is up as soon as possible because this is something beyond our control because this this is your location the customer premises cpe customer premise equipment and beyond this point you may not have a control so your job is to contact the service porter and make sure that the link is up as soon as possible so you can verify these status messages uh, with the help of some verification commands like what I can do is I can simply go ahead and power off this router one just to confirm like in my case what I'm going to do is here this is my S0 by 0 by 0 I think that's a connecting port to S0 by 0 by 0 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to router one and I will try to power of this device just assuming that so here I'm just creating a problem on my own so that we can verify so there should be a power off button here so here you can see the power off button so I just powered off and you can see that uh, here you can see this uh, red indication indicates that the interface is done so I'll try to check on the route from the router to side so what I'll do is I'll jump into the router 2 and we'll try to verify from the router 2. So if I say show IP interface brief, so this S0 by 0 interface which is connecting to router 1 on the left side is actually down. And the reason we know just now we did that so that you can have an idea this might be the problem. So we'll go and check with router 1 as per our topology. Uh, the router one should be up maybe some loose power connections again in the production scenarios you might be using monitoring tools which will help to identify that the router one has been powered off which will give an alerts so here we'll get into the router one and we'll try to fix that by making it up before you do this make sure that you also save the configurations as well so now once i am back on the router two once the router finishes the booting process, we should see that interface is back to up. So now you can see the interface is up and we can also verify by sending some ping request to the router one as well. That is the 10.001 is the IP on the router one. 
So the next possibility is you can also go and shut down the port. So this time what I'm doing is I'll try to uh, specifically shut down this particular port. So let's say I'm, I'm trying to shut down this particular port. So we'll go to router one. So the interface is zero by zero by zero. I'll try to shut down this port. Now, if the remote port is in shutdown state, then you get the same result. So same output, like the interface is down, down. So you will see this status message. And if you go to the specific interface on the local router, like on the router one, if I say show IP interface brief, you'll see it has an administrator tab. Now the difference here is because whenever you see the status as administrator down, it means that the local port is in shutdown state, which means if this particular port is in shutdown state, you will see something like administrator down. So on the local router, but on the opposite side of the router, you will see the status message as down down. And if you just observe the same thing here, that's what you will see down down here. So that's, that's the difference you need to know. If your local port is in shutdown state, then it will show you as administratively down. So how we can fix it? We know the problem what we did. So I'm going to fix it by using, going to the interface as zero by zero by zero, and simply say no shutdown command to make the interface up. So whenever you see this interface shows as administratively down, you need to understand that the problem is with the uh, with a shutdown port, maybe the port was in shutdown state, we can make it up by giving a no shutdown command here.